Another fan favorite on Dashing Dish are these mini cheeseburger bites. Did I call them cheeseburger bites? Muffin cheese, muffin tin cheeseburger bites. Of course I did. I have to make it a 20 word long. <laughs> Another fan favorite on Dashing Dish are these muffin tin cheeseburger bites. What I love about them is it essentially is like a cheeseburger without all of the work and they're perfectly portioned in little muffin tins. So to make these, you just need a few simple ingredients. We have a pound of ground beef, a fourth cup of Parmesan, a fourth cup of shredded cheese, a fourth cup of old fashioned oats, two eggs, three tablespoons of mustard, and a fourth cup of ketchup. So really simple ingredients, and they taste absolutely outstanding. So I'm just gonna start by adding the Parmesan cheese to the beef, and the reason I'm using Parmesan cheese is if you added something like shredded cheese to ground beef while it's baking, it's just gonna kind of get gooey inside, so we're gonna add the shredded cheese on top. Then I'm gonna add some old-fashioned oats, and that's kind of like a binder, so if you think about meatloaf, we do eggs and any kind of breadcrumbs or oats are great to kind of bind that meat together and also make it really moist and flavorful so it doesn't get tough. And that's just as simple as that is. So we're just gonna kind of break up the meat with a spoon or a spatula and get these flavors all blended together. All right, so that's looking good. That's mostly blended up together. Now we're gonna add our mustard and our ketchup, and this is what gives it truly the cheeseburger flavor. You could also do relish or whatever else you like on your cheeseburgers right into the meat there. So about three tablespoons of the ketchup and the mustard. We're gonna give it another stir. So now I'm just gonna coat this muffin tin with some cooking spray. And then we have our ice cream scoop here. And this is perfect for scooping out the perfect size cheesecake bites. Oh, cheesecake. <laughs> well, it would be interesting if these were cheesecake bites, <laughs> for sure, with shredded cheese on top. Um, but we're gonna scoop them out into the muffin tin. And this is really makes for the perfect size cheeseburger bites. I'm gonna do it just like that. And you can kind of form it with your hands too. So my kids love these cheeseburger bites because they are kind of a little bit more inviting to eat rather than a big cheeseburger on a plate. So the nice thing is anytime my kids eat something and my husband and I, I'm like, it's an absolute go for me because anytime you can get your whole family to eat something. All you moms out there know it is an absolute win. So this is definitely a recipe that I consider a win-win for my whole family. And it's nice because you can also do this recipe for something like an appetizer, for game day, anywhere that you really just want finger food, it's the perfect recipe. So that looks perfect. The mixture is all divided nicely between the muffin cups. And then I'm just gonna top each with some shredded cheese. Just like that. These also make a really good lunch or dinner just with some sides. I like to serve it with some potatoes and some broccoli. So what I do is I just roast up some broccoli on the side while I'm cooking these in the oven and some potatoes. So I do like some baby potatoes just cut in half, some frozen broccoli. I put it on a sheet pan next to these in the oven and then they roast up at the same exact time. So it really is the perfect all-in-one meal. And it also makes great leftovers, which is wonderful as well. So you'll wanna roast these at 425 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes and then just check them with a thermometer. If they reach 145 degrees for beef or 165 degrees for turkey or chicken, then you know that they're good to eat.